Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the BoxyBox from D-Link. In this episode, specifically, we're going to talk about adding user accounts. Now, when you sign up for Boxy for the very first time, it asks you to sign up for a user account. This will be a username and password. This allows you to track your favorites, track your settings, and all this other sort of stuff. And it also allows you to connect to other friends and share your taste between them. So if someone recommends a video, you can connect to them as a friend and see what they're doing, and vice versa. It also has a side benefit of when you're using a boxy box of allowing you to have different users on the same box. So for example, you and your roommate or your family members don't mess with each other's settings or watch things that are in your queue or mess with your taste so that someone else on the outside world in your friends list thinks that you're watching a whole marathon of Baywatch, which could be pretty embarrassing. Set up another account, click on the menu button from wherever you are and go up to the top. There's an icon in the top left that looks like a power switch. Click on it and then click switch user. This will log you out of your account. Then go down to the bottom and click Add User to add a new user account. This will give you the same dialog that you first got when you first set up your Boxy box. You can set up an existing user if someone has an existing account on Boxy.tv, or you can sign up for a new user account right here. Enter in your email, enter in your password, confirm the password, and then once you hit done, that would ask you one more key question, and that's whether you plan to get most of your content from the web or from the files that you already have on your local computers or your hard drives. Now, if you choose the wrong one, don't worry about it too much. You can go back and fix this later on in the settings. Then once you hit done, it'll open up Boxy with that new user account already logged in. Again, you can sign that and switch user at any point by hitting the menu button, going up to the top where it has a power icon, and then hitting switch user. And they'll take you back to the screen and you can switch between different accounts, make sure that all of your user preferences and tastes and cues are kept separate and there are no horrible taste mishaps. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series at Butterscotch.com and you can also see the show notes for this and the other parts at Butterscotch.com.